Hello everyone, I am Jam, and today I will continue to show you the beautiful scenery of Koh Kong Province, Cambodia. The place I visited today is near a small village in Koh Kong Province called Koh Yur. It is located in Khmer Pomen City, Koh Kong Province. There are many beer bars nearby. It is a good place for locals to relax. It is more lively on weekends. Koh Kong Province has a very long coastline, very high mountains, vast forests, and depressions, various terrains, and beautiful scenery. Living here, I feel that there are scenery everywhere. Opposite Koh Kong Province is the Gulf of Thailand. The sea water is very clear and rich in marine resources. It is also one of the cities in Cambodia that is very suitable for tourism and is very suitable for leisure travel. In this small city, there are various attractions, gourmet restaurants, casinos, beer bars, and people live comfortably and leisurely. I saw a lot of European tourists and American tourists in Koh Kong province, and they all said that they liked the living environment in Koh Kong province very much. The consumption level in Koh Kong province is very low, and the price is much lower than that in Phnom Penh and Sihanoukville, a small seaside city that is very suitable for retirement. Koh Yur has more than a dozen shops selling local delicacies by the sea. You can come to the beach for running, fishing, swimming, surfing, and taste delicious seafood and local dishes with Cambodian characteristics. My friend came to the temple here today to worship Buddha. Everyone knows that Cambodia is a Buddhist country, and most of the people here are Buddhists, so Cambodia has a very large number of temples, and the status of monks is also very high in their country. This temple has a relatively large area, and locals often come here. There's a lotus pond in the temple, and there are a lot of fish in it. My local friends often come to feed these fish. In Cambodia, the fish market fed in the temple is prohibited from fishing. Everyone must pay attention to thee. Whenever they have various important local festivals, there are a lot of people in the temple, so Cambodia has a lot of various temples to satisfy Buddhists to visit. Temples have become an integral part of the lives of local people, which is also my true feeling of living in Cambodia for two years. If you like the shared videos on my channel, please subscribe and like my videos. Your support is the motivation for me to create videos. Now it will be evening soon. I will end today's journey. Thank you for watching, I will bring you more interesting videos in the next issue, goodbye.